it turns out the road conditions between Haynes Junction and Beaver Creek are terrible. <laughs> Before driving to Alaska, I thought I was prepared. I had food and water packed in my car. I had my gas tank full. I had all my gas stops planned out for the entire week as I drove from Washington to Alaska. And I had the mile post book, which is a must have book if you are driving to Alaska. I also knew I would go long stretches without cell phone service. So I was mentally prepared for that. And I also studied my route ahead of time. But of course, no matter how much you prepare, you can never really know what awaits you on the other side until you just jump in the car and hit the road. So let's go. Welcome to Canada. They let me in. These signs saying 100 kilometers per hour are totally throwing me off. I am in British Columbia. Okay. I'm in British Columbia. Oh, I just had this huge adrenaline rush when I crossed the border. So the border patrol agent um, was very, very nice. You know, he just won my passport. He didn't look at the insurance or anything else. And he just asked me, you know, what I, where I was going and what I did for work. just went to Slim Jim's 50s diner. It was very good and it's very cool. I love the decor on the inside. That was such a big day. <laughs> that was a big day. I'm in Canada for the first time. I'm so excited. I stopped in Cash Creek, British Columbia for the night and tomorrow, well, I need to sit down actually right now. I'm gonna lay down. I need to lay down and figure out how far I'm driving tomorrow. First time getting gas in Canada, let's go. I haven't yet been into a convenience store here, so I wanted to just go into this convenience store and see if there's like any fun snacks that are Canadian, but uh, I don't know, just like any fun snacks that I haven't seen before. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, our next stop is Prince George. I'm about two hours away and um, I'm just gonna show you a little scenery on the way. Siri now talks to me in kilometers and meters. So there's that. 600 meters, turn left. Lake. It's 10 p.m. It's still light out. There's this beautiful campsite here that I'm gonna stay at tonight. So it's time to set up camp. Good morning! Burns Lake was beautiful. I really recommend that campground. It, um, the Burns Lake campground was free. It had a bathroom and so very happy. <laughs> and Burns Lake is also one of my gas stops so time to get some gas. I've made it to the Gitwangok, I think it's Gitwangok uh, totem poles. So 
So I'm gonna show them to you. These are so cool. I'm in Mezier and Junction, and this is where I'm really glad that I planned this gas stop and uh, bathroom stop ahead of time because I have absolutely no cell service. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm starting to get to the point, I think, where things are going to be a lot more spread out. And I think I'm gonna see that, especially tomorrow. I think this is just like the very first uh, part of it here. It's a very lovely Friday night here. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally time for me to try these ketchup chips. I have not tried them yet. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I can definitely eat them, but I don't love them. I guess they just taste kind of like, um, like if ketchup were a spice and you could just like shake it on something, it tastes like that. <laughs> This looks so unreal. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not swim in the lake. I actually just took a shower at the campground. So this is the plan for today. I'm here. I spent the night here. I'm here now. I'm going to be going up 37 North, crossing over into Yukon. And once I'm there, at this junction, I'll be on the Alaska Highway. My car does not like loose gravel very much. But the gravel didn't last very long. Actually, the roads have been excellent so far. I've had really no issues. I really don't think I needed gas. It was My tank was pretty full, but I just decided to get it anyway because, you know, who knows? And I was able to go to the bathroom, was able to get a little cash out. I had no Canadian dollars on me, and I thought, you know, might as well just have a little bit of cash here just in case I need cash for something. All right, time to break this book out, the mile post. My next stop is Good Hope Lake. And now I'm reading in the uh, mile post that it says, this has not been a reliable source for fuel or services for highway travelers. Phone ahead if you're counting on this fuel stop. turned off yeah so there is no gas here at good hope lake no gas at all you're welcome I'm really glad I stopped because those two cyclists had no water and they were, they stopped here in hopes of having some water and this store is closed. It's only open three days a week. It's not open on Saturdays. So they had absolutely no water and I had um, a couple gallons with me. So I gave them one. So whew, I guess I was put here for a reason, huh? Even though I didn't get gas. Au revoir. <laughs> bon chance, au revoir. <laughs> They kept speaking in French, and so I was like, you know what, I got this. I haven't spoken French in you know, like 10 years, I feel like. What's happening here? You can see all that smoke. I mean, I know that Canada's been having wildfires on this side of the country, but... Turn around and get 
a picture with this <laughs> welcome to British Columbia sign and use the bathroom. Cheese! <laughs> Leaving British Columbia now. As soon as I turn around and head that way, I will be hitting the Alaska Highway. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm gonna be on the Alaska Highway. I cannot believe it. Yeah, but it, it was like that for a couple hours. Very smoky and very thick air. Yeah. We're only going as far as these late tonight. Oh, okay. Fun to meet other travelers on the road. Like I said, they just got back um, to where I'm headed. So time to go. Okay. Alaska Highway in three, two, one, go! Alaska Highway there that I've been driving all day today. p.m. and for the first time since yesterday I have three bars of cell phone service. I actually had absolutely zero cell phone service since yesterday afternoon so it's been over a day that I've been totally not able to communicate with the outside world. It looks like there's a campground back there, there's a restaurant here, there's gas. So instead of driving to Whitehorse I'm gonna stay in Teslin tonight because it's already getting pretty late. It is very dusty here. I don't even know what all dressed means. Okay. Those taste way better. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Turns out the road conditions between Haynes Junction and Beaver Creek are terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. I had to pull over because I'm exhausted. I'm I'm gonna get back in the car in just a second. But there's so many potholes, so much loose gravel, 
uh, just, I don't know, it was just, I was swerving to avoid, like, s slowly, but swerving to avoid potholes. A, a few of them snuck up on me. So I'm just, like, mentally and physically exhausted because I've been holding my steering wheel for dear life for the past few hours. I haven't slept that well the past couple days. Well, I've been staying up really late, and this is why. Look, it's 11.30 p.m. The time has come. I'm 19 miles away from the border, and uh, it's been crazy, and it's probably still gonna be crazy until I get to Anchorage, but uh, here we go. I should be there in a few minutes to the border, and so far the road has been good. Great because I needed that break after yesterday. Woo! Oh, can I not? I have to show you something. <laughs> Welcome to Alaska! I still have to go through customs up there, but I saw the sign I had to pull over. Okay, I'm like literally tearing up because this has been a really long journey. So, anyway. Let's go and actually get into Alaska. I've got to show my passport. 